Hi there, and welcome to uh, this uh, session, uh, this blog of uh, White Dove Ministries. I'm here today with uh, Paul Keith and Wanda Davis, and uh, just great to be with them, good friends uh, for a lot of years, and uh, uh, it's just a great time to be alive. It's a great time to be a Christian. I'm so excited to hear the, some things that Paul Keith has been talking about uh, in regards to tabernacles and the open door and uh, things that God is bringing to the body of Christ right now. And uh, so I just want to share a little bit of aspect, uh, if I could, about the open door. And uh, it's very amazing how uh, it ties really very well in with the uh, season of tabernacles and, and the fact that uh, the habitation of God is coming to us. Uh, this year is, uh, is the uh, year for Psalms 111. And uh, there's some very interesting aspects to Psalms 111 uh, that uh, I want to make you aware of that I hope will encourage you uh, in the sense that God wants to come and fully live in you and live through you. Uh, as we look at the Psalms there in 111, the first few verses are really amazing. Uh, it talks about um, uh, praising the Lord. And praising the Lord, by the way, is going to be uh, key for the next seven years. Every psalm, Psalms 111, 112, 113, uh, 115, 116, and 117, all start with praise the Lord. So I think God's trying to get our attention about the, the uh, necessity of praise uh, in our lives. And uh, actually it says in Psalms 114 that, uh, that Judah is going to become the dwelling place of the presence of God. So I, I'm really believing that through praise, um, God's going to inhabit His people. But if you go back to Psalms 111, there's a very interesting verse. Verse 2 says, Great are the works of the Lord, accessible to all who delight in them, or studied by all who delight in them, depending upon your translation. Now, if you take that verse at face value, um, it says that there's some kind of an accessibility, some kind of an openness, some type of ability to gain access uh, to the works of the Lord. And by the works of the Lord, I mean creative works, supernatural works, the works of authority and power, uh, works of redemption, works of salvation. Great are the works of the Lord. And uh, I did a little bit of a word study uh, on that particular verse there. And I'm amazed to find out that that word studied or the word accessible in the Hebrew starts with the letter D. Now, those of you who are familiar with the Hebrew alphabet knows that, that D uh, is, a, is not only phonic, but it's also pictorial. And that letter D in the Hebrew alphabet is pictorially, it's the symbol of a door, and particularly an open door. In other words, what God is saying beginning this year, uh, that there is like, uh, almost like any other time, there is an open door uh, to come in and to see the way of the Lord and then to learn the works of the Lord. And that's very exciting to me in that uh, God's saying, if you really delight in the Lord, if you want to press in this year, uh, God's going to begin to open up revelation and impartation and equipping uh, by the Spirit of God and by His presence in us to begin to be this greater works generation of John 14, 12. And so I think this is our opportunity we've been waiting for. And I think we've got to seize the moment. I, I know this is what I've been waiting for. I know it's what White Dove Ministries have been waiting for. We've been preaching about the presence of God, about the manifestation of His presence, about moving in His presence, about the great things that God wants to do. This year, uh, this year, I believe, is the beginning of our heart's desire where God's opening up to the remnant, to those who really want Him and, and just can't uh, be denied any longer these things. I believe that hunger, God's going to open up this door and allow us even to pull millennium power into this time. And you go, what do you mean pull millennium power into this time? Well, do you remember in the Bible where um, Jesus began to preach and he sent the disciples to preach and he said the gospel is for the Jew first, everything goes there first. And then when the Gentiles would try to come and get a miracle or something from Jesus, uh, he would say, no, this is for the Jew first. Uh, do you remember the woman who wanted uh, her daughter to be healed and she just refused? She said, but Jesus, you give um, uh, even, the, even the little dogs get a crumb. What a great profession of faith that was. She was saying, God, I don't need all your power. I don't need all your presence. I just need just a little bit. It's enough to heal my daughter. You know what she did? Uh, he, she got her miracle. But this is the amazing thing. She was a Gentile. And so even though the power was for her to come in days ahead, she actually, by faith and by persistence, 
with the Lord Jesus pulled the manifest supernatural power of God into her time, even though it wasn't her time. I believe this Psalms 111 has the same opportunity for you and I. If we press in, we can pull the powers of the age to come into this time and see them fully manifested, even if it's not time yet. So have great faith this year and press in. Will you do that? Let me pray for you. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name over all those who are watching and hearing today, listening to this uh, opportunity that you're presenting to us in this time in history to a generation, to a generation, God, that you knew would lay hold of this word. I pray, God, these burning ones would arise. I pray these men and women of faith would arise. I pray, God, that the reformers would arise for this day and this hour that are going to bring a reformation to the awakeness going. God, stir them up. But God, I pray that many would go into this open door and begin to bring the operation and the manifestation of your power and your kingdom into the earth. God bless you. Have a great day.